everyone. Good to see you again this week. This is the second Sunday in Ordinary Time. So we've changed out the color. You can see I have green and you'll also see our priests in green this week because green is the color of Ordinary Time. There is no first Sunday of Ordinary Time, just the second Sunday of Ordinary Time. Another interesting thing about this Sunday's reading is this year we primarily, mostly, are hearing from the Gospel of Mark. But this, the reading today is from the Gospel of John. But before I read it, um, I want you to imagine that you're thinking about joining a club or a team. What are some things that you could do to find out if this team or this club would be something you want to be a part of. What are some things you could do? You could read about the, the team, you could um, research, um, you could talk to other people who've been part of the team also, or the club to see what they think about it. So which of those ways do you think would be the best way to get the information, the most persuasive way to get the information. Probably from talking to other people, from hearing about this club or team, from your friends, people that you know and respect, and what they had to say about the club or team would really influence you, really make you decide one way or the other which way to go. Um, so, but all of those ways, whether it's reading about it or talking to others or doing research, um, are, are all really good ways to find out. Um, commercials are another good way in which we get information about things. Um, but in today's gospel, we learn how Jesus's first disciples learned about Jesus. So let's listen to the Gospel. And as I said, it's um, a reading from the Gospel of John. May Christ's words be on my mind, on my lips, and in my heart. When John the Baptist was in Bethany with two of his disciples, he saw Jesus walking by and said, Look, there is the Lamb of God. The two disciples who were with John heard what he sa said and began to follow Jesus. When Jesus turned around and saw them following him, he asked them, what do you want? And they answered, Rabbi, this word means teacher, where do you live? And Jesus said, come and see. So they went with Jesus. Now it was about four o'clock in the afternoon and so they stayed with him for the rest of that day. One of the two that followed him was Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter. So the next morning, the first thing Andrew did was to find his brother Simon and tell him, we have found the Messiah. When Andrew brought Simon to Jesus, Jesus looked at him and said, you are Simon, the son of John, but from now on, you will be called Peter, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So who does... The gospel say was the first to tell people about Jesus. We've heard this in the readings the past couple of weeks. It was John the Baptist. Then who was next? So next in this we hear that it was Andrew and another disciple who they don't give a name to. And then who did Andrew tell in this gospel reading today? He told his brother. So the first community of Jesus' disciples learned about Jesus from other people. When these people came to Jesus, they learned for themselves who Jesus was, and they wanted to be his followers. And so it's just like when you know we want to find out about other things, and we ask our friends, and we learn, and we want to follow. That's how these early followers of Jesus came to know about Jesus through the word of mouth, through listening to one another, their family, their friends, and the people they respected. And this is all a very important part of our faith, that no one is a disciple of Jesus alone. And to be a follower of Jesus means being part 
of a community. And we are part of a community, the community of our church, the community here at St. Max, the community of your family. And we call community church as we're talking about this gospel. So with that in mind, let's pray for our community. Let's pray for our church. And the response is going to be, Lord, hear our prayer. So let's pray for our Pope, the bishops, our priests and deacons, and all who love and serve our Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That as a church, we will continue to witness to others all that we've learned about Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we will continue to know Jesus better and follow his ways. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let's finish today's uh, reading, our time together, with the prayer, the glory be. I know a lot of you already know this. You've been studying this at home with your families. So glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Have a great week, everyone. See you soon. Bye.